when your central nervous system is being affected, okay? Yeah. Your brain has zero capacity for logical thinking anymore. Zero. Right. Right. And by zero, I mean, it does not know right from wrong anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is why yeah. crazy things happen in the world. Ridiculous. Right. Like people do crazy things because it just keeps piling on. Yeah. What I love. Okay. So you're still, and what I mean. So, okay. The, the first thing is you're still, it's, it's on the back of like your, the top of your, the base of your spine, like the base of your here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's it's like at the top of the neck, not the base of the spine, but the base of the skull. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what it is is like I feel like when I'm when I'm inside your energy, like you can't still turn around all the way because there's a part of you that's still sad and mm. still hurts for the person that you were we were then because you still worry that you hurt other people in your life. Right. And I know, you know, that everything happened for a reason, but yeah. you also need to understand that, that, that experience played a significant role for your girlfriend at the time too. And I know, you know yeah. that, but yeah. that was part of her awakening because she needed to understand right. communication right. just as much as you needed to understand what you're going through. And, and we're going to talk about that in a minute, but yeah. She needed to understand communication and you were the perfect specimen to get her to specimen. I know that sounds so clinical, but you were the perfect yeah, that, yeah. opportunity for her to try as many things as she possibly could right. to master it. Because here's the thing, part of her journey is helping people who were in the situation of being overstimulated on the nervous central nervous system. That's part of her journey. That's part of her story. Right, and I bet right. you, if you look into what her career is now, and wherever she is, she's already going down that path because that's what she was meant to do. Okay. You on the other hand. Okay. So it being able to go, Oh, I contributed to her journey instead right. of, Oh, I messed her up and carrying that. Yeah. Because yeah. Like you said, you feel, and I know you feel, and you feel other people so deeply, but you yeah. also, okay. So you have a spectacular ability to go to the root of the problem, the challenge, the issue where most people see fog. You're like, no, no, this is it. It's right here, which yeah. is what makes you so intellectually smart as well. Okay. That's how you flew through school. Like, yeah, yeah. And because your analytical mind knows how to process awareness and energy like most people breathe. Right. Does that, do you understand how big this is? Like, this is massive. Okay. Massive. Okay. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yes. It's a huge part of why you're here. But what I love is that as you were struggling and you you were always looking for solutions you you know you were never content you were like nope there's got to be mm. more than this like this isn't mm. this doesn't feel good there's got to be more mm. and what i love is that you went to health mm. Mm. because when you're when you're looking at your own well-being right mm. that also lets you know that this awareness that you've got and this, you know, understanding this deep inner understanding, even when your mind doesn't even know it yet, mm. you have such an awareness of how energy runs through the human body and how it's meant to, and when it's not flowing and when it's not mm. working. Right. So you went to mm -hmm. health right away, which I love. Okay. Keep going. Well, I just want to say something about that. That's, that's incredible because I've, I've been working with a, like an energy worker recently who's been helping me kind of move energy and find out where there's blockages and stuff. And something that came up like, I don't know, a few days ago that I wanted to address next time I went to see her was I was like, one thing is where I feel so blocked. And like we hadn't touched on it because we were working on like the front energy centers and stuff. And I was like, I need to ask because I like, yeah, I haven't, I'm quite, quite new to working in the energy space. I've always been working more in awareness and insights and that kind of stuff. And, yes. um, and then I wanted to ask like, 
why do I have this feeling like whenever this it's, it's, it's exactly what you said. <laughs> so when it's you said huge. That now, it was, was huge. Like, it was as big as your skull, but at the back of your neck, like at the bit. And I was like, I can't even move my head when I'm in your energy. Hey, yeah. So I love that you get that. Yay. <laughs> That's incredible. I'm so grateful that you, yeah, that you were able to share, share that because it was exactly what I was wondering about recently was what's going on there energetically. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to, yeah. we can shift it. Well, just sharing the truth of what it is, is already mm. shifted a little I bit. I could already feel as you were yeah. talking, like there was things clicking and like yeah. moving. Yeah. We're like, opening yeah. the lines now down both sides of the spinal column as, our, as we're talking. So it, it's literally, it, because you were under so much, it's like everything was compressed. Right. right but right. it's also understanding that that's your communication, right? That whole, yeah. and the back is how communication comes in. And you stopped taking anything in 